Right, already split the gearbox off once I got that clutch and everything away. Um, next thing I'm interested in seeing is whether this Dynastar unit is one of the ones I might be using. First one looks terrible, been full of water for a long time. Second one looks pretty clean. Uh, commutators much better than the first one which was pretty badly worn both had worn out sets of brushes in them this one I say this engine had come off of a go-kart and they've just done away with uh, I guess those are the reverse rotation starting connections kept those uh, and one of the ignition wires should be two because this engine could be running both directions and notice they've also taken out the second set of points i don't know why they felt it necessary to do that uh, of course the second set of points to enable the timing to be correct for the opposite rotation running anyway we'll have a go seeing if we can pull this off made up a rudimentary puller when they got round to the first ones just a couple of pieces of plate a bolt a nut a little tab there to try and captivate the nut so it doesn't rotate um, yeah so those four holes I've drilled here communicate with the four tapped holes in the hub and all being well we should be able to we should be able to shift it we we'll stick a bit of squip down those threads brass screws So if any damage is done to a thread, it will be to my screws rather than to the engine. warm today quite unusual to hear all the voices out of it out. lots of people getting out for the first time after lockdown I suppose nice bit of a break over Easter a nice bit of sunshine so let's all get out and spread a bit of Covid love first one I took off I almost thought it wasn't going to happen I had a huge amount of pressure on this puller use the bolt a tap in the middle try and shock it off but it just didn't happen I thought that was the end of the job and they give it another fraction of a turn put a lot of pressure on it but all of a sudden it did yield. Second one was a bit more of a pleasant battle.
quite easy one wound a fair bit of tension onto that bolt and then uh, gave a tap with the hammer on the bolt to shock shock it all and sure enough it popped off let's hope this one does the same It's not going anywhere. <laughs> that felt good. Right, let's see what we've got. Oh, blimey. These brushes is even worse. You see that when it actually is down to the wire. Been running at a funny angle as well. I suppose he's come out so far that the brush holders are no longer captivating it properly and he's cocked over at a funny angle. Other than that, windings look tidy enough. Commutator showing very little wear. Might be the one I end up using. So yeah, that commutator at the back there the first one I pulled off, he's worn right down in. But that engine, assuming it is the original engine to the car, has done 40,000 miles. It's quite a lot on a small machine. Yeah, so that armature has potential. Data. First impressions looks tidy enough. Brushy brushes shagged. I believe I can still get hold of them easy enough. So that's not too much of a worry until the point I come to order them and say, oh sorry, that's the one part we don't have. Hopefully that doesn't happen. There we are, another little piece of invalid carriage engine exposed. Hmm. Hmm.